One year ago, Verizon seemed poised to define 5G cellular technology for the entire world. By January 2018 CES, the company was already working on becoming the first major carrier to deploy a commercial 5G network, which it followed up by identifying its first 5G home broadband cities, later revealing its first mobile 5G device, Motorola's 5G Moto Mod. As of early August 2018, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint all seemed at least somewhat behind. It didn't actually shake out that way. Verizon launched a tiny pre-standards 5G home broadband network that couldn't scale, followed many months later by a standards-compliant mobile 5G network with barely any coverage. AT&T launched an invisible 5G network that it later described as exclusively for businesses. And despite struggling through a slow-moving merger with T-Mobile, Sprint improbably succeeded in launching a small consumer 5G network that was nonetheless more tangible and usable than both AT&T's and Verizon's. Retrospectively, the one bright spot in Verizon's early 5G planning was something amorphous, focus. The carrier paired sharp, clean home 5G marketing with its simplest, most appealing pricing structure yet. Unlimited service costs $50 for existing customers or $70 for new customers, including hardware. The home 5G plan was brilliant because it's so straightforward, reasonable enough to tempt new customers and lower for existing customers to incentivize them to add more service. But since then Verizon has mucked up the waters with mobile 5G plans that have only gotten more complicated and confusing over time. It was bad enough when Verizon told customers to choose between three pseudo-unlimited mobile 5G plans, ridiculously named Go Unlimited, Beyond Unlimited, and Above Unlimited. Now it has four plans with even longer names that no one will be able to remember, Start Unlimited, Play More Unlimited, Do More Unlimited, and Get More Unlimited. Only a company that would qualify the unqualified word unlimited using synonyms such as beyond and above for different tiers, no less, would think that these four new names were a better idea. And the concepts justifying the tiers aren't too smart, either. Start Unlimited is for the person who is willing to pay $70 per month for 4G service while accepting that the unlimited data can be throttled during any times of congestion the network experiences. This plan doesn't include 5G service for free, it's a bulletin and you have to pay $10 more per month for it.